Dr. Peter Lindemann has recently pointed out that Tesla has already stated enough about his mechanism for allowing mankind to attach his equipment to what he describes as the wheelwork of nature. You can see Dr. Lindemann's presentation via the YouTube link shown here. Tesla's proposed method is surprising as he suggests that we use solar energy. However, remember that Nikola Tesla was a genius, so don't dismiss anything he says as been there, done that, and got the t-shirt, as you most definitely have not been there, done that, and there has never even been a t-shirt. Tesla is not talking about solar panels which are limited by clouds, latitude, darkness, and so on. Tesla always thought big. Tesla was talking about the continuous stream of energy reaching us from the sun and raising air temperature to what we are used to. His system can operate all day and night anywhere in the world and it can provide unlimited levels of power indefinitely. Sounds too good to be true? Well, it isn't too good to be true. The technique is to generate an artificial cold spot and then use the heat difference between that artificial cold spot and the local air temperature to power a heat engine. Not exactly a difficult concept to understand. Not all that difficult to achieve either. An artificial cold spot. Ever heard of a freezer? That would work, but Tesla thinks much bigger than that. A heat engine. Well, there are lots of different types of heat engine. For example, there is the Stirling engine. A Stirling engine is a very simple construction, and people love to build small models, as those intrigue people. Here is one which is offered for sale in 2020 for just £18. Place it on a cup of hot water, and it runs at 180 to 200 revs per minute. If the water in the cup is 20 degrees centigrade hotter than the air temperature. An engine of this type will run day and night if it experiences a sufficient temperature difference. This is what it looks like here, this particular one, which is offered for sale. The next version of heat engine, or in this case Stirling engine, is powered by the flame of an alcohol lamp. It costs the same £18 and runs at 1300 to 1500 revs per minute. And this is the particular unit on offer. The bottle contains alcohol and the flame from the wick heats up the air in this uh, glass tube container here. And the engine rev revolves the um, flywheel here at a considerable rate for such a small device. It's also known as an external combustion engine. However, it is a heat engine. So if you can provide the heat difference without burning a fuel, it will run as well or better. These examples are considered to be educational toys which show the principle. Serious, bigger Stirling engines are a very different matter and they can be very powerful. They can be used to provide mechanical power or to generate electricity. So Tesla's idea to provide a serious temperature difference and for example, that can be achieved using the method set out in John Houston's patent US 1781 Zero six two, issued in 1930 and shown here. This is the main diagram of the system. To the first glance it looks complicated, but in reality it's very straightforward. An important point is that the expansion motor shown above is powered by the expanding gas of the process, and that motor is this unit here. This is the expansion motor, 
and is mounted on a drive shaft to the compressor. And while the motor can drive the compressor and does, this expansion motor also provides driving power to the compressor, the compressor being the heart of the entire system. The, this reduces the drive power required to operate the compressor to just 15% of what it would otherwise have been. The relevant documents mentioned here are reproduced below. It's important to understand that this inner system generates far more power than it needs to operate. Houston's design produces cold air at 34 degrees centigrade below zero, and that is 29 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. Also, Houston's system produces large volumes of both hot and cold air. Quite apart from the major power generated separately by Tesla's heat engine, heating and cooling are the two largest requirements for a home or business, and that makes this a most desirable system to have. As I said before, the other documents, that is the patent from John Houston, and the details of what Tesla said about the system are attached to this document, which you can download quite readily from the link that's shown in the introduction to this video recording.